Yeah, I'm gonna go get the rim bottle. Bro. Stop it, stop it. Uh. Just boat, boat, boat. Guys, boat. I'm done, done, done. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Die already. Oh, well, so far. You can't push the girls for this stuff. Yeah, let us help them. We have to go to Roche, guys. If they get Aegis, she's doing this. I might die here, I am. I'm going. Where's the hot engine? Can go roast now. Go in there. There's a fuck gonna be bottle. Nico, you gotta heal us. You can use Centaur stop the other way.
go back up, back up.
guys, this is The International, we're in Key Arena and I'm pleased to be joined by host of this big, big, big event, Sean Plot, also known as Day Night. Hello, hello. It is an honor to be sitting in this chair on the left of you. <laughs> nice to hear this. Well, <laughs> yesterday we had um, Day One, so how was it for you? Impressions, feedback? I mean, honestly, it was a real treat because when you look at the group stages, there were so many matches that it was kind of hard to actually follow all of the action and really appreciate, you know, we had like so many monitors up in the talent room during group stage that you'd kind of be looking back and forth. But yesterday was so awesome to just be able to watch each match one at a time, fully focus on that. Cause I really think that this is what, that's what this event is about, right? It's about appreciating the skill of pros and giving each pro that time to really shine in the spotlight. I thought it was lovely. Well, I noticed you've been following every match, trying not to skip any moment, but you still Correct. were interacting with your fans. Well, how did you manage to do this? So, I am a big believer that expectation management is super important. Just trying to make sure that, um, you know, when I go on the hosting desk, when I step off, I need to go back to the, you know, green room areas. So that way I can actually watch the matches, so I can take notes, so I can make sure that the questions that I ask aren't stupid that you know, I'm gonna bring up key moments, but I wanna make sure that I have a sense of what I think the key moments were, so that way I can do more follow-up questions and that sort of thing. But in between then, I'll always go over to where the fan area is and try to talk to two or three people and, and actually say you're just ignoring that. them. You're, oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. trying to interact with them all the yeah, time. Yeah, because I, I think that this is a really common problem that a lot of talent have, where you really do have to be on for the entire 15, 16 hours that you're at work. And you do want to see the fans, so how do you, how do you do that? And for me, well, I should say for some, they just go, I can't, and then they just sort of walk past. But what I found is that if you just go and speak very honestly and say, hey guys, I have to be in the back, but I can do two or three people at a time, but that's about it. Everyone's super understanding and appreciative, and it's been really nice, yeah. I've seen a lot of fans of yours here since your probably StarCraft times, because I noticed, uh, yeah, the banner like Friday, Friday, uh, there was kind of show of yours. Well, Funday, Monday. Funday, Monday, yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 So, uh, as far as I know, uh, but Dota fans are not really familiar with you. Uh, honestly, I knew that you've been affiliated with StarCraft somehow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, after making research, I realized, I was surprised actually, of your accomplishments and uh, oh, that wow. you have your own Wikipedia page. I have not Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Woo! That's right, So, man. yes, but still, uh, let us know <laughs> what's so special about you that Valve decided to invite you to so host their biggest, yes, event in the history. Well, um, I don't, I'll never claim I'm the most special bear out there. Uh, I would suppose it's that I have a lot of experience doing hosting, um, which I think is far and away the most important bit of any host. You just want to make sure that there's someone who's comfortable with all the things that go right and wrong with hosting because, you know, I think that from an outside perspective, the hosts almost have an invisible identity at a lot of events, but a lot of that is because what if everyone on the panel stops talking? How do you keep the conversation going forward? If someone says something, how do you follow up in ways that can hopefully loop in other people? What happens if there's technical difficulties? What happens if you are hearing updates that says that players are being delayed in the booths? All these are things that just take time to become comfortable with, and I've been doing this for like almost 10 years now. I guess it's like eight or nine at this point. But I think probably the biggest reason is that I've been really into Dota in the last year, doing shows on my own stream, on my own channel, and I think that that is probably the biggest challenge that organizations have when trying to get hosts, is someone who both has hosting experience but can also speak to the game. Um, 
And that's my guess, because from my experience, Val said, hey, Sean, you're wondering if maybe, I don't know, would you have any interest in working at the International? And I was like, yes, 